My people, welcome. We're here with another video. Today we're doing a top 10 of 2021 for action figures. Wow. Here we are. <laughs> Man, it's been quite the year and we're already in 2022. I'm, I feel like I'm in the Matrix, y'all. Like, society, uh... Society got booted into a program a couple years ago, and I'm, I'm still waiting for the code to come out through the shower mist, like uh, my man's in Matrix Resurrections, but I digress. We have, uh, for our winners, a fabulous trophy for them to have, and uh, wonderful prizes on top of that. Uh, we'll put in some B-roll for you to look at that very nicely. Um, all right. Moving on, uh, now that we've got our showgirl done presenting the award, we'll just slide that one out. Uh, keep that in view so people know what they're uh, fighting for. And um, let's jump right into it. So I've got my list of 10. We're going to just start from uh, number 10 and work ourselves all the way down to 1. And uh, just going to talk about them for a bit and... Maybe speak on why they're at their rankings and uh, move on to the next uh, typical format. All right, uh, starting number ten, uh, Marvel Legends Ultron. Uh, this guy is a pretty great figure, and honestly, he would be ranking up higher for me. But um, it's just a few like minor things that really kind of hold him back for me. Uh, but let's talk about the good first. You know, he's got great. Jack Kirby representation on here, the Kirby dot accessory. Uh, it's it's beautiful. This figure is it's it's my number ten, but it's the figure I bought the most this year. I have three of these things. It's um it's a fabulous army builder. Uh, the paint is great on him. He's got the new pinless joints that Hasbro's been talking about recently. Uh, the only thing really with him is is his posing is kind of dreadful because uh. He's got this uh, I don't know if it's just like softer plastic, but when you like raise his legs up and if you have anything really pinch against that crotch piece it's gonna leave an indent forever <laughs> and I got my first two and didn't realize that and pretty much ruined them almost immediately um, <laughs> with their thighs all cut up and uh, then my next one I thought I put one of my old ones in a sitting pose but I actually put him in it and now he's got some scuffs too and it's it's just all around bad but honestly yeah because of honestly just that little issue of the soft plastic that has him at the very lowest rank for the top 10 i wanted to include him though like i didn't want that there, there was a point where he wasn't in the list but i didn't want to do that and because i've had so much fun with this guy he's he's just a real blast to have in hand and a fun army builder and i love myself a good army builder but we're talking about him too long. We're going to move to number nine. You are in the past now, Mr. Ultron. Number nine. Another Marvel legend. Super villains wave Red Skull. It honestly feels like him and Ultron should have been in a wave together. But, you know, he is an Iron Man villain too, so it's all good. But, uh, yeah, another good one. Rocking the new pinless joints. Um, his arms look a little terrifying, though, at, like, certain angles with the sculpt, because it just looks like, I don't know, from this angle, it's sometimes it just looks like the arm just disappears, and he's just, like, a wire person. But it has a great head sculpt. He has another alternate head sculpt that's more serious. But, um, I don't know. Like, usually I'm not much of a fan of Nazis, but this is just such a funny, goofy-looking figure. I kind of love it. Um... <laughs> It's just the crazy smile that he has here with these teeth, man. Uh, the eyes are drawn pretty good. Like, the shading on the skull all around is just pretty top-notch. Uh, yeah, he's just a really fun figure. Uh, I wasn't expecting to have a lot of uh, Marvel Legends on the list here, but we've got, uh, we've got a few, and uh, we, we still have a lot more to get through. But uh, good stuff. That's number nine. Um... Hmm, we might have to change the camera for number eight. This big chunky boy, oh lord. <laughs> Alright. Oh man. We're getting past the studio, y'all. Alright. 
So that was two. Yeah, this is eight. Number eight is Diamond Select Hulk. This thing is a beast. If I ever need to fend off a home invader with some piece of my collection, if that's like the room I happen to be in, I'm going for the Marvel Select Hulk boy, because this thing's going to leave a dent in someone's head, that's for sure. Um, he moves very great. I mean, honestly, I was... I didn't really like Diamond Select because for the longest time I always kind of thought their stuff was just like really, really stiff and kind of like janky and I don't know, it just, just always felt stiff like you had to pretty much keep them in the little bases they came in and that was that. But um, I mean this guy, you can't, you can't get him in super crazy ballerina poses, but you know, it's not supposed to be like that, it's, it's, it's the Hulk man, <laughs> you know. But that being said, he moves just as good as the Marvel Legends Hulk, I'd say. Except, you know, he's a lot bigger and he he feels more like the Hulk in the background. Like, this guy has an awesome shelf presence that um, not many figures get just with this just sheer size status. Like, it's... He's a, he's a big boy. I think he's... He's probably... As big as a masterpiece, I think. Like, I think he's as big as my masterpiece Megatron. I'll have to do a comparison one of these days. But uh, yeah, that's number eight. Hold on, this guy's pretty big, so we're gonna have to uh, condense him somewhere. Oh, I can put him. Uh, this new studio is amazing, y'all. I got so many spots I can just put stuff in and forget about it. <laughs> but uh, number that was number eight. So number seven. Uh oh. Another M. Uh oh. Now we gotta put it back for sm small people, little peoples. We're back in the studio. The immersion is back. <laughs> Let's get him out here for you. Beautiful. All right. So um, this this is just a really really awesome figure here. Um, you see that? You can you can look through my man's. That's that red desk back there. That's not some American red stripes on him here. This, this is cool. I dig this a lot. And the crazy part to me is, like, this, this is, this came in their, uh, their What If Marvel Legends wave, I believe. And, uh, I don't know, there was some other cool figures in there, but, um, this guy was, like, obviously where most of the budget went, and it was very, you know, well done in my opinion. But everywhere I go, it seems like this guy's the peg warmer. I uh, I see him in multiple quantities everywhere, and I'm so confused because I'm like, is it just because, like, maybe a lot of kids are buying these in Targets and the parents are like, no, I'm not going to get you this because I was very shocked when I first saw this on the shelf. Like, hold on. Let's, let's get that focus. Yeah, like, could you imagine shopping with your kid and... <laughs> they want this thing no like I, I could see a parent not wanting to buy that but it's it's still a really sweet toy and I don't really see many people having it he's got some fun poses you can get him and he doesn't come with really any accessories or a build a figure part but uh, I think he gets like a bloody shield but he's still just whew, beautiful stuff and combined with you know red skull there's so many fun little photos you could pull off of this, some alternate what-if stuffs. But, uh, yeah, that was, uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, let's move on to 6. Um, it was, like, the one of the, like, lines I really discovered this year, too, and, like, really went hard in it, so, like, it had to get some representation on the list. But, um, it was, it was always really going to be a demon at the end of the day, it was really a question on which one. And uh, Belphegor was the one that uh, that won the list this time. Yeah, cool stuff. Awesome figure. Uh, we're going to move on to the next one. Up next, we have the Mafex Gambit. This guy is pretty damn sweet. I've, uh, I've talked to all y'all about it. You've seen the review, I, I hope. I hope you're loyal and you've seen all my videos. Um, every view counts, you know. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this guy is a lot of fun. Uh, he doesn't have his coat on, and we'll get into that later. But, <laughs> uh, he's, he's so beautifully posable. 
Um, my dumb behind was thinking I had like three Mafexes to choose from this year. Well, two actually, but I forgot that I got my Hush Batman in his reissue phase and not his release phase, and that boy came out a year ago, so I didn't think it'd be fair to like really include him in this list, but uh, he'd probably like in the top three spot at least <laughs> if he was this guy's great i just wish he had um an old like i said in the very an alternate head that's like you know kind of more of a cocky smirk or something like that i i, I wish mafex would do more than neutral face aggressive face and then aggressive with mouth open face it's 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 getting old guys i'd like some variety a little bit please but great figure great effects uh great character and um super posable and flexible and you know that's what we're all about okay ciao all right next one all right number four the pudgy pig bro this thing this thing is beefy it's wonderful it's it's a pork and good time it's got a ugula um he can kind of do the splits he's just he's just adorable look at him Look at this little guy. Mom said it's my turn on the Xbox. Look at Wiggle. He's got a little piggy butt tip. This, there's no way you can buy this action figure and be like, yeah, man, I was disappointed. I don't want it. Hey, Target, let me return this. My son hates it. Like, the only reason you would hate this is if you have, like, a fear of pigs. That's, like, the only reason. Like, this peak, peak. I was debating putting him at number one, like I really was, but I had to like give it some thought and I had to like release my newfound wonderful energy over just being in the room with this thing all the time. The only if he'd be perfect if his tongue moved up. Like that would be that would be perfect. Then he'd be number one. The Ugula the Ugula brought him very close. Very close. Alright, next one. All right. Number three modular iron man the best iron man suit of all time and now the best iron man marvel legend action figure of all time in my personal opinion um <laughs> pinless joints uh beautiful silhouette profile shiny glossiness uh okayish ab crunch great articulation and you know what y'all you know what this 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 right here this little wrist articulate uh, uh, uh. never has an iron man ever been able to just stand like this this is like the the like gunslinging western outlaw of iron man poses with your repulsors at your thighs ready to go or just like i don't know just like Clutching you crap, bro. This is this is unreal. This is just a fun guy to play around with. The poses are great. You can do, you can make him do a kame kame ya if you want. Like it's, it's man. I got cats going crazy right now. Like come on y'all, come on y'all. This, this is this is the best Marvel Legend to come out this year for sure. Like without a doubt, I love it. It, it brings me back to my. Not exactly my era of Iron Man, but just the Iron Man I'm more, most familiar with, like Marvel vs. Capcom look, uh, the animated show, a lot of the comics I would kind of read that uh, were just older that I inherited. It's, it's all here, man. I love it. I'm here for it. Best Iron Man, period. 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 Number, number two, number two, number two. The WAP, uh... Sentinel Miles Morales. This thing is beautiful. This is like the most flexible, wonderful, most perfectly posable action figure I could ask for. It's it's beautiful. He's stylish. He comes with lots of alternate looks and interchangeable accessories and goodies. Um, he's probably the best Spider-Man figure I have like period and that's crazy because it's not a peter parker action figure it's a miles morales action figure and uh that's just awesome i'm <laughs> it's really cool um yeah all of his all of his different looks really give you like a nice bang for your buck that's kind of unexpected because it almost feels like you have two different action figures because 
you just get him in his you know regular suit look and the street look and then you get those sneakers on the bottom with the interchangeable shoelaces it's just it's just so much fun to like really the euphoria you get the first time you open them up and really realize what you're getting yourself into it's it's truly a blast um yeah number two right here miles morales he was he was he was close to getting the award but uh we got a number one that's gonna that's gonna take it all right everybody the moment you've been waiting for the top figure of 2021 everything else you have just seen was nothing compared to this right here number one for all the money marvel legends the hood check him out oh yeah this guy is so versatile this screaming face it's like the best thing for photography this man can be anywhere as a, a pedestrian in danger uh, a a knight you know slashing down on a demon it's it's anything i'm just fucking with you it's it's the plunderling captain ash but uh whew, i the only reason i didn't get these guys sooner was because i chose to get a sentinel instead of funding their kickstarter and i regretted it immediately <laughs> once i saw people getting them in hand and i was like oh my god these things are amazing and i was really sad until i saw that they were going up for order again and that they'd be you know shipping sometime this year and i finally got mine i got uh ash here i got cheddar teal and um uh i think Oh, I forget that it's, it's the one with the hammer the like little cute witchy one they're all super cute but that's why it's number one um anyone that really knows me with my action figures like I I like to you know get my cool guys from my you know action flicks and my comic books but I am just always trying to make my guys cute for like no reason and this is like the cutest thing ever like in existence like look look at this little guy <laughs> And this is just me talking about how they look. Functionally, they're wonderful. It's they only come with two sets of hands, but uh, you know, you get nice proper hinge movement on each hand, like the open hands flop, the grip hands, you know, go back and forth. They all have um and honestly I'm kinda just grouping in all plunderlings for this uh winning. Let me get the camera down here for you. Oh, there it comes. <laughs> the thing. <laughs> but uh yeah, let's like uh let's let's get the other two over here. Uh you know, you got three here. They all have magnetic hats and magnetic heads, so if you wanna switch out their gear, give this guy a little mohawk, give this guy a little hat, you can do that. It's it's whatever you wanna do, man, and that's what I really dig. I mean, they give you a they give you a little bit about them, you know. They they plunder, they loot, whatnot. But you can really just kind of place these guys wherever you want, and that's what I really dig about them. Their scaling is great. They they good they go good with one eighteenth stuff. They go good with one twelfth stuff. It's really whatever you want to do with them. So uh, yeah, Captain Ash wins action figure of the year. Uh, I'm very proud of my boy. It's been a long time waiting for him to get here, and uh, yeah, let's uh, let's 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 get him the award. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. You know, we're just gonna do a cut, potentially, but we'll see if it goes quick. All right, look at our boy, so happy with his winnings. I'm happy a plunderling got all the plunders here, all all the gold coins, all the bucks. Uh, this is a fun time. Also expect a Plunderling review to come out soon. I gotta, I gotta do that and go into real detail about why these guys uh, really won. But I guess this is a teaser, a hype up for all that. Uh, until then, hopefully uh, my release schedule isn't too uh, slow on y'all. I know it has been. <laughs> but uh, we should be getting some more stuff out. Uh, and uh, I guess until next time, uh, catch y'all later. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, toodles. Boom bop.